Hello everyone! Welcome to DIY in 5. I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and are there any Mac users watching who remember the good old days when you could upgrade the parts on your Apple computer? It wasn't that long ago you didn't have to be a genius to upgrade your stuff. On this episode of DIY in 5, we'll show you how to install an SSD into that older Mac of yours to make it speedy like new. We'll be using OS X El Capitan 10.11, but this method also works if you're using Yosemite 10.10. First things first, make sure you pick up an SSD with an installation kit like this one. It makes your life a lot simpler. Put the new SSD in the external enclosure, then power on and boot into recovery mode by pressing Command R during startup. Next, select Disk Utility and click Continue. Now, you'll select your new SSD in the sidebar and click the Erase tab. Be sure to enter a name for your new drive. I chose George R.R. Martin. Set the format to OSX Extended Journaled and the scheme to GUID Partition Map. Finally, click Erase. Now it's time to copy the data to the new SSD. You can do this by selecting your new drive name from the list on the left. There's George. Go to the upper menu bar and click Edit to find the Restore tab. Select Macintosh HD as the source. Click Restore to start the restore process. Depending on your system, this might take some time, so fire up Netflix or grab a cup of coffee while you wait. After the cloning process has completed, it's time for a little light surgery as you shut down your Mac and replace the internal hard drive. For this early 2011 edition MacBook, you need to remove all the screws from the bottom. Next, disconnect the battery and remove a pair of screws holding the old SSD bracket. Now, just lift the old drive out. Remove the SATA cable and the hard drive retaining posts. Plug in the new drive, put everything back together, and you're good to go. Phew! Now that the tricky part's done, it's time to power on. Turn on your Mac, go to System Preferences, and click Startup Disk. Select your new SSD as the startup disk and restart your Mac. It's alive! It's alive! And hopefully much more attentive. Please let us know in the comments if these tips worked for you, or if you have any other tricks to share. Make sure that you like this video and subscribe for more DIY tutorials like these great Android vids. We try to get a little something in there for everyone. I'm Trisha Hirschberger and I'll see you next week.